Okay, so this is the go home rod of fast lane. We begin with Dean Ambrose. Different. Steph comes down. It's like, Dean, you want an F5? I'll give you an F5. A fatal five way match for the IC Championship. Cool. Who we got? Dean. Kevin Owens. All right. Stardust. Okay. Ziggler. All right. Tyler Breeze. Okay. Nice chaotic flow to it. Everyone gets hit. A lot of the other finishers. We get to see that really great, I'm going for the dirty deeds. While you then get to see Ziggler jump from behind and hit a zigzag. Nice spot. Works well. Looks good. They do it in almost every triple threat match that you see Ziggler in. Finish comes pop-up powerbomb on Tyler Breeze. One, two, three. Kevin Owens. New champ. Cool. Cool. That maybe, just maybe, potentially, they're going to let Ambrose win on Friday. I mean, on Sunday, which would be awesome. So now there's an IC Championship match for Fastlane. Ziggler, Kevin Owens. They put on good matches. They had a pretty decent 50-50 feud. Put the title on, title in the between two of them. That works. I'm cool with that. I'm surprisingly cool with it. They continued the AJ Miz Jericho bit with a really solid match between AJ and the Miz. They don't have perfect chemistry, but dang if they didn't put on a nice competitive match right back and forth. Continuing the story of Miz getting a you know a tooth chipped from from AJ Styles. And Jericho on commentary did a great job building up AJ. Making their match mean something. Making the match of the ring mean something. That's what you're supposed to do on commentary. Of course, Calf Crusher, because Killer's not PC, or PG. And then, you know, AJ's like, Jericho, I know you want a match. Let's do it at fast light. Jericho's like, mm, I'll let you know Thursday. I like that. That worked. That was good. Good storytelling. I would love to see Jericho troll him to WrestleMania. I would like that. I think that'll work great. He Slater took on Zack Ryder in the match to fill time, and he Slater won. The New Day came out, and I guess they're going to be on the highlight, not a highlight, uh, the Cutting Edge Peep Show at Fastlane, because they don't have a match currently. Okay, They made fun of Mark Henry, called him the world's biggest booty hole. Mark Henry and Big E had a match. I think something happened to Mark Henry. Because Big E had it for the big ending. And you see Henry kind of go down to grab Big E's Big E. And then you see him kind of like shuffle off. And then he gets pinned randomly. Then you mean the random. R-Truth is out with his woman. And they had a waiter. The waiter was Goldust. Gold dust was like, here's a free bottle of champagne, and then popped his cork all over R Truth Woman. Okay. Paige took on Summer Ray, and Summer Ray won in a match where their chemistry just was not there, and the crowd was like, oh, Paige is back. Oh, Summer Ray. Is this because Total Divas? Yeah, it's for Total Divas. Right. Since Brie is getting wicked simpy, she has a title match against Charlotte. And Brie pretty much owned Charlotte during their little promo. Where Charlotte used a lot of enunciation and a lot of really bizarre mouth movements, kind of like a horse with peanut butter on its teeth. I, I got I got nothing. Seriously, I, I got nothing with that should have been a lot better, stronger promo. It wasn't. It was a poor promo. But there was another women's match. Becky took on Naomi. And aside from Naomi doing her lightning leg, this weird like random like you know someone's jamming a kick button repeatedly, so she's doing like multiple kicks to both sides, which looks like she's just doing a cardio routine. 
great match, nice back and forth. Love the finish of the reversal of roll throughs to a disarmor. Tamina came, started doing the beat down. Banks came down. I'm thinking that's going to be a really solid match. Seeing Banks and Lynch teaming together again, again, they teamed together quite a lot at NXT to take on the remaining members of Team Bad. I like it. Good. That's be an awesome, awesome, solid match. The team of the Lucha Dragons and Neville took on the three not injured members of League of Nations. And Del Rio again used the really awkward double stomp where his opponent has to pretty much brace themselves on the ropes the whole time in one of the worst styles of suspension disbelief. Because if I'm stuck in a rope and I'm holding myself, knowing my other option is to let go and fall my back and get away from a guy jumping off the top rope to drive his feet into me. Now Kalisto versus Del Rio for the U.S. Championship will be a two or three false match. And Del Rio was like, you beat me and it was a fluke. Kalisto is a two-time U.S. champ now. He's beat you by fluke twice. So, could be a good match. They've got nice chemistry. Paul Heyman, again, got to really, really talk up Roman Reigns. He has to, or else no one's going to care. And our main event was Big Show versus Braun Strowman. But Big Show also had the Stone Cold Steve Austin podcast right afterwards. So, to show that they're wickedly awesome, that you know, they can defeat everybody, because they've been pushing the Wyatts as they're destroying all the Titans. They do a run-in for a DQ finish, and then Ryback comes down, and then Kane comes out from the ring. So the dominant group of four individuals who've dismantled Kane and Ryback are so dominant that they had a problem dealing with the Big Show, and now they might potentially transition on to taking on Lesnar? Lesnar destroyed Kane. Lesnar destroyed Big Show by himself. Lesnar has not faced Ryback yet. So if Lesnar can destroy two-thirds of the individuals that the Wise have a problem with was four-on-one, doesn't really bode well for keeping the Wise as a super dominant group that they'll eventually feed to, to Lesnar. And it was a weird way to end the show. I'm pretty sure they'll probably uh, a match, announce like a, a three-on-three match, but still very awkward way to end your go-home show to Fastlane. But I do think that they're actually trying to use SmackDown as the final, final show to lead in Fastlane. And Dudley's cut a promo very similar to what they did on SmackDown. 